we were doing these miniseries and I started to get nervous that Universal might not be there the next time we brought one because I could see who was losing money and how it was going. So I set up a meeting at Paramount um, with the new, the two new heads there, Barry Diller, who was there, and Michael Eisner, who had just gotten there. Uh, both had come out of ABC, and they were running the studio. And I went over there to try to convince them that Paramount should do some of these miniseries. Uh, I was trying to hedge my bets so I would have two in case one stopped. And uh, I gave him all the reasons he should because, you know, a lot of our stations had purchased the year before Happy Days and look at how valuable they were to Paramount and whatever. And um, Michael called me that afternoon afterwards and said, uh, can we have lunch tomorrow? And I said, sure. I figured, boy, this was easy. Um, and I met him for lunch the next day, and he said, um, I really hate your idea, <laughs> but um, we want to look at starting a new network at Paramount, and I'd like you to come over here and run it, um, which was a little shocking to me um, because it was a side of the business that now it was the production side of the business, and I hadn't really done that except on a very light basis. And uh, I ended up going back to Chris Craft. I had a contract, which I couldn't leave, but I went back to Chris Craft, and they let me get out. And I went over to Paramount to start what was called then the Paramount Television Service. And uh, some of these names will be interesting to you. Um, when I was putting it together, I. I hired to run programming Jeffrey Katzenberg and moved him out to the West Coast. He had been in the promotion department, marketing of Paramount. Um, I hired Ron Nelson to be our financial guy. He ended up being the CFO of DreamWorks for a while, and I haven't seen Ron in a while, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing now. I hired Mel Harris, who ended up being head of Sony, um, to be head of research. <laughs> um, and we just had a really neat group that went around. Um, and we hired Randy Reese to be the um, head of sales. Um, and almost all the people we hired there to be our salespeople ended up running the various companies in town over time. It was just a great group. And we went out and started clearing stations to run a full lineup of programs, uh, which was going to start on a Saturday night. The first show at 8 was going to be uh, starting Star Trek again. And then from 9 to 11, we were going to run a movie. And we were going to start the network on Saturday nights because it was a weeknight for most um, stations. And... Uh, Star Trek had been not on the air for a while, and there had only been 79 of them done originally, and we thought we could really get an audience. And we, it ended up we cleared a lot of the United States, but um, around the time, it was when they took cigarette advertising off of television, and the advertising market collapsed on itself. And economically, it didn't make any sense. So we pulled back and announced we weren't going to do the network. Um, that was when, at the same time, Gary Nardino, uh, who was running tele the other part of television at Paramount, was leaving. Michael gave me the job to be the head of all of television at Paramount. Jeffrey Katzenberg moved over to work with Don Simpson on the movie side. <laughs> 